Hello everyone, my name is Lacey and today I have some friend mail to share with you. So my friend Candy reached out to me and said she had some things she wanted to send my way. I've had this for a little while. I did already open it and go through it and it's been sitting here and then I went, I, I was going to put it all away the other day and I was like, you know, I really want to share this with everyone because it's just so special to me and I asked Candy if it was okay if I went ahead and shared it and she was like of course so here we are I just kind of I don't know I don't know if it was just that day and how I was feeling or what but when I opened it and went through everything I wasn't even halfway through the box and I was like crying because it's just I don't know it's kind of overwhelming when people just get you and like we've never met each other we live across the country from each other but I feel like she just watches my videos and listens to me and picks up on things and that's just it's just kind of crazy to me to think about that someone can understand you so well and just know I don't know I feel like she just knew I was gonna love everything that she put in this box because every single thing in here I love it's either a scent that I've had and I love or a scent that I've wanted to try and I now love because I've got I've gotten to smell it but Anyway, I'm going to keep rambling if I don't just get into the box. So, first of all, she had this beautiful tissue paper on top. How gorgeous is that? I'm going to save that. And she sent me a few things that weren't wax related. She also sent a little note in there. And let me just show you how this box is kind of there was more packaging in here when I got it but I didn't save all of it um, but she had it sectioned off to keep things like even more protected I think she said her husband came up that came up with this idea so that was just so cool to me so where did it go first of all she sent me some lavender oil this is from purple haze lavender farm in washington and when i lived in washington i'm pretty sure this is the one that i had looked up and just i really wanted to go here but i never did so I just I again it's just like this crazy thing where this was something that I had thought about in my life and wanted to do in my life and never did and then here she sends me some lavender oil from this exact lavender farm anyway so and this smells amazing like so good I've had a lot of different lavender oils but this is just, oh my gosh, it's so, so good. Oh, it's just the perfect lavender herbal and beautiful. I love it. So super happy to have some of that. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. Okay, I might have already taken one of the things out of here. I can't remember. No, there it is. I thought I kept everything in here because I wanted to show you guys, but she sent me some Portland Bee Balm, um, like chapstick or lip balm. And I've actually had this before, which was also kind of crazy. It's from Oregon. Um, and this is the Oregon mint scent or flavor. I'm not sure what it is when it's in lip balm, but yeah, I've had this before and I loved it. So I was super excited that she sent me another one. She said they also have a rose and a lavender, um, scent, flavor, <laughs> something. 
Um, so I want to try those too. I have had the mint before and I actually use mint lip balm every day. So I'm super happy to have that. And then she also sent me some pine cones from the Pacific Northwest. She knows how much I love the Pacific Northwest and how much I'm missing it all the time. So she sent me some pine cones and they're different ones. And she also sent me on Instagram some information about different tree cones. I, I forget what you're supposed to call them. They actually all have different names, obviously, because they're from different kinds of trees, but I never really thought about it before. I just called them all pine cones. So just kind of interesting. They actually have different names and I followed the page, the Instagram page that she sent me because it's very interesting to me. So anyway, I think that's it for non-wax. Well, I do have, she sent me a, a sugar scrub from the bathing garden, which I absolutely love the bathing garden sugar scrubs. The bathing garden just opened, well not just, it was a few days ago, but they, she opened the Halloween pre-order, I guess it is. Um, everything is listed on the site. I filled my cart. I need to <laughs> rain it in a little bit before I order, but I do plan to place an order. It's been quite a while. I haven't been ordering from anyone really. I did forget that I ordered from Salt Mountain Melts, my very first Salt Mountain Melts order, and I think that's going to ship fairly soon, so I'm excited for that. But other than that and Scentsy, I haven't ordered much of anything. So I do plan to order from the Bathing Gardens Halloween release. But I'm very excited about this sugar scrub. It's the rosy red rosewood scent, which was from the Little Red Riding Hood or Into the Woods. I'm not sure what it was called, but it was like the fairy tale woodsy collection. And I didn't order. I should have because I'm pretty sure I would have loved like everything in that collection. Um, but I'm sure she'll pour those scents again. So anyway, let's smell this. Oh man, that's so pretty. I don't know if I actually smelled this when I opened the box and smelled through everything. I don't think I actually smelled this. It's so pretty. I love rose scents from the bathing garden. I love rose scents in general, but from the bathing garden, they're just always on point. This is so pretty. I can't wait to use this. Oh man, I need to take that upstairs and use it next time I get a shower. So, so pretty. And I'm completely out of my bathing garden sugar scrubs right now. I ended up just getting like a tree hut one from Target. It smells amazing, honestly. And it's like super moisturizing. I really like it, but I'm missing my bathing garden sugar scrubs. So happy to have that. I'm happy to have everything in here because everything is amazing and perfect and let's just get into the wax so she sent me a what are these is it a chunk muffin or a mini muffin i forget what rose girls calls them um but it's best decade ever and this is freshly cut grass fresh air dirt and swimming pool i really like this scent so my friend sarvi had sent me some of this to try It's so good. I'm so happy to have more of this. It is definitely nostalgic. It just smells like 90s summer. It almost, it smells like freshly cut grass and like dead, dry, sunburnt grass <laughs> all in one with some dirt and some like ozonic notes from the swimming pool. Man, is that good. I am still melting summer scents, but I'll probably save this one for next summer um, just because I still have so much summer that I can melt right now. I'm still melting summer. Today is September 6th, but it is like very hot outside. I think yesterday was like 96 or something, and today I haven't been out since early this morning, but I'm sure it's pretty much the same, and I'm... I can't, I can't move on to fall scents 
when it's still summer weather outside. I just can't. I'm already drinking my fall drinks from Dunkin' and Starbucks, but I can't do fall scents yet. So I'm, I'm going to save that one for next summer, I think. Um, and then she sent me Midnight Rosewood from Teddy Bees, and I do have this one in my collection. It's Tonka Bean Rosewood Black Amber Tea Petals and Cedar. It's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. It's kind of perfumey. Everything in here I love. I just... I feel like that tea petals makes all the difference in this. It just makes it so unique. Man, is that beautiful. So that's kind of, I feel like Midnight Rosewood is kind of a year-round scent for me. Like, I could do that summer and fall, probably winter also. So I, I really like this. I'm happy to have more of it. Okay, let's go on to... This one, I might have to bring the box over onto my lap, but she sent me some Pirate Voyage from Dessa's Homespun scent. I love this scent, and it's been so long since I've ordered from Dessa's. I feel like I either just missed the pre-orders, or there's like another pre-order happening the same weekend that I want to partake in, and so I don't place an order with Dessa, but I do really love Dessa's scents. Um, the performance of Dessa's is kind of hit and miss for me, but that's kind of how it is with every vendor so I do plan to order from Dessa in the future it's just I just haven't for so long I think I have like three cents left in my collection of Dessa's and now this little bit of Pirate Voyage which is my favorite scent from Dessa's it's Pirates of the Caribbean inspired sea spray aged wood cannon smoke musty water Main Street Mem it's in the Main Street Memories collection it is a house blend and it is so good. Oh, I love it. It do, it just smells like musty water, which is so weird to say that I want my house to smell like that, but I do. Oh, it's so good. It's such a good scent. If you haven't tried that and you like scents like I do, I would definitely try that from Dessa's. It's just... I don't know. I love those like musty kind of scents. It's weird, but I love it. But I'm the kind of person who likes the smell of like a musty basement. Like I've always loved that scent. So I'm here for the musty water scents. Okay. The next one here is Pacific Woods from L3. So I've had Pacific Woods in blends. I have some that I'm hoarding right now in my collection. But I've never had it on its own. And she sent me this huge chunk from a loaf. Man, it's so good. It's really, really good. Oh, it's kind of hard to explain. It's really like... It's... Okay. <laughs> it's definitely coniferous trees. But this just smells more like, like this doesn't smell like Christmas to me. Like I feel like Pacific Woods is a good tree scent, like a good coniferous tree scent that you can melt in the fall and even in the summer and not smell like Christmas. But also I feel like you could add this into a Christmas scent and it would smell like Christmas. Oh, I don't know. It's so good. I forget what the notes are on that exactly, but I, to me, I almost get like a sugared, like a sugary tree scent, maybe some citrus in there. Man, is that good. So fresh and outdoorsy. Ugh, so happy to have that. Pacific Woods. I'm just going to keep saying I'm so happy to have all of these because I really am. Um, she sent me some Journey Over Pandora from Dessa's. This is another one that I've wanted to try for a long time. It's so pretty. It's like aquatic. Fresh, aquatic, but really pretty. 
slightly salty. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh man, I need to get tea lights. I need to get tea lights. It has been months and I still have not gotten tea lights. But we're getting into fall here. I'm going to want to use my, my tea light warmers. This one, I really want to stick into a tea light just to like try to get the best strength and throw from it because it smells amazing. Ugh, so fresh, pretty, aquatic. I love that. I can't wait to try that. Okay, then there's some glamping from Rose Girls, another one that I've wanted to try for a while. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. That is like, this almost smells like authentic Palo Santo, like burning Palo Santo with like a marshmallow note. Oh, the smell is like being in the middle of the woods, but also like someone's burning Palo Santo and toasting marshmallows. <laughs> oh man, that is also amazing. And again, I really want some tea lights to try these pieces in. Also to like prolong them. <laughs> Cause if I if I do one piece in my tea light, I can get four warms out of this instead of like spreading it out and getting one warm out of it. So I need some tea lights. Okay. Um she sent me a partial clam of King Orin, which is my favorite scent from Super Hearts. Possibly my favorite scent from any vendor. It's it's definitely one of my top Five favorite scents from any vendor. It's rain, salt water, sea salt, patchouli, and cedar wood. And it's so good. It is so good. It's it's earthy, it's aquatic, it's fresh, it's salty. There's like a slight cologne vibe in here. It's just everything I love rolled in to one scent. Oh my gosh. King Orin. If you haven't tried it, try it. It's amazing. It's a boomer performer and like I said, one of my favorite scents ever. Okay, what's next? I don't want to miss anything. Oops, I left something down. Um, Garden Ho from Rose Girls. This. Seriously, you guys, this box is just full of all the things that I love in home fragrance. Oh my gosh. So I get like some tomato vine, I think, but it's not like heavy tomato vine. I feel like there's some basil in here. It's just so good. It's so good. It's fresh, earthy garden. That's what it is. Like vegetable garden. Vegetable garden and herb garden in one. And I freaking love that. I will definitely be on the lookout for that in a pre-order or an RTS for spring and summer. That is so good. Let me just say I skipped the last pre-order and I'm kind of regretting it because I kind of wanted like every single thing that she offered. <sighs> Filled my cart and never checked out. So, okay. And she sent me a full clam of beach blanket from the bathing garden, which is one of my favorites. I am obsessed with this. It's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And this is from 
July of 21 and smells amazing. The bathing garden has incredible shelf life. Oh my gosh, I love this. This might even be better now than it was when I first got my bar. This is like, to me, this smells like coconut, sunscreen, and a freshly washed beach blanket. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so good. Um, L3 also has this oil. I like it from both. I prefer it from the bathing garden. Incredible. So good. This performs super well for me. I'm so happy to have a clam of it. Okay, I think we're on to the last square. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. So the next thing here is pizza time from Super Tarts. And Candy did message me about this one and she said she thinks that Brandy might have changed an oil in here, possibly the basil oil. Um, and she was like, so just don't even melt it. But honestly, to me, it smells really good on cold. So I'm still going to melt it and give it a try. Yeah, because it still smells really good to me. And this is one that I've wanted to try for a long time. I think this has like I forget what's in here. I think it's like raspberry, basil. What's the third thing? Is it, I don't know. Is it like tomato vine or something? I don't know. But it smells really good to me. Like fresh and herbal kind of. Yeah, I'm definitely going to still melt that and see, and see how it melts up. Uh, because that smells good to me and that's one that I, like I said, I've been wanting to try that one for a long time. So I'm excited to try it. Fireflies from Dessa. This is one of the first scents I ever tried from Dessa's and I did really like it. It's been forever since I've had it. And yeah, but it's good. It has... It reminds me, I mean, it could just be because it's called Fireflies, but it makes me think of like being outside at nighttime in the summer, you have a campfire going and you're roasting marshmallows. That's what Fireflies makes me think of and I'm excited to have some more of that to try it again because the first time I had it, I only had, um, it was like a little two ounce shot cup, scent shot, scent shot. So I'm excited to try more of it. Um, some more Dessa's soaring above. This one, I want to say, is this the one that's like orange groves? That smells really good too. <laughs> this is just a whole box of scents that I love. Just everything that I love in like I said, in my home fragrance is in this box. Yeah, it's just fresh, clean. Ugh, a little citrusy. I really like this. Again, this is going to be one that I stick in the tea light warmer just to like get the most that I can out of it. Then we have Pass the Herb from Rose Girls. That sounds right up my alley. This, oh man, <laughs> this is so good. Oh my gosh, this is so good. It's green, but I get this like cannabis flower kind of situation. This is like green herbal and clean. I feel like there's a cleanness in here. Hi, buddy. Oh, I love this. This is another one I would definitely get a full bag of. Man, that's good. Oh, that is good. That might be like 
that might be my favorite from this box even though I love everything that is so good okay the next one oh she sent me that's why because she sent me a um, little wax shape in rosy red rosewood that's why I didn't smell the sugar scrub when I first smelled through this box but rosy red rosewood from the bathing garden this is so freaking good Every, everything in here is so good oh my gosh like how and why <laughs> why is this so good oh, this just smells like a super clean woodsy rose to me and I love it Oh, I love it. Oh, does this have, um, look how pretty that is. I don't know if you can see. It has, like, hearts on it. I almost get, like, a little bit of lavender in here, but I don't know if that's in the notes for this. Man, that is just so good. Oh, love that. Maybe she'll offer that one in the Valentine's collection, too. Um, it's, ugh, that is, that is good. Okay, Dessa's Seaside Escape. And, oh, that's pretty. My light fell asleep. Okay, let's see if this is better. This, I get salty sea air. There's more to this, but I'm not sure what I'm picking up. This one's kind of layered. I, I think when they're layered, they're different scents. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. I definitely get salty sea air. But it smells a little bit saltier to me than Salty Sierra usually does from vendors. This is pretty. Ugh. Yeah, this actually kind of smells like ocean air to me and Salty Sierra usually doesn't. I'm pretty sure this is Salty Sierra though with something else. Yeah, see, all of these scents, like, I'm still in the mood for these kind of scents right now. Like, all of these um, fresh, clean, aquatic, salty kind of scents, that's still what I'm in the mood for right now because it is still very much summer here. Uh, the next one is Spiced Rosehip Potpourri. I love this scent. I think, what, buddy? Did you get a drink? So... We got another cat. <laughs> um, he is a, I guess it would be my husband's uncle, um, has been sick and in and out of the hospital and he's in the hospital right now and he's not doing very well. So someone needed to take his cat and we just felt that we should. So he's here with us. We're kind of nursing him back to full health um and he's already i feel like he's already improving he's only been here for a few days today's like the third day we've had him um and i feel like he is improving so you'll see him sometime i'll probably do i'm i'm thinking about doing a vlog this week just to kind of get back into it and i'll probably introduce him his name's tigger um, that's the name that he was given and the name he came with, so we're keeping it, but he's a Bengal cat. He's just a little, he's a little unwell right now, but he's getting better. He just needs some food and water and, uh, some love, so. <laughs> 
he's a very sweet boy though and John seems to like him and allow him to be here um, so I think everything's gonna work out I don't think you can jump up here but he's just going for a little walk anyway spice rose hip potpourri and yes I hear you uh, I love the scent no don't get up there don't get up there he's much more um, like we've been very lucky with John John doesn't really <laughs> John doesn't really he doesn't really get on too much of the furniture he gets on the couch obviously he gets on the chair he doesn't ever try to get up on like the shelf back here or like any of the shelves or like tables or anything the only table he jumps up on is the like little island thing we have in the kitchen John gets up on that like in the morning when it's just me and Brett out there he gets up there and cries for us to feed him because he's starving to death because he hasn't been fed in eight hours <laughs> so that's really the only time he gets up on furniture he'll get up on like the bathroom sink or like the back of the toilet but other than that he doesn't really get on anything um but this guy is much more like he's been on the coffee table a lot john doesn't really get on the coffee table um especially if there's like stuff on the coffee table john doesn't get up there he doesn't care he just hops up he's tried to get on this shelf a few times and knock some stuff down um so yeah, that, that's going to be a thing. Hopefully we can kind of work that out of him, but I think everything's going to go well. And we've always, I, this is a lot for this video. Um, I'll talk about it in another video. Let's just continue with the wax. Spiced Rose Hip Potpourri from Bathing Garden. Love it. Ugh, so good. It's like this dried rose potpourri kind of scent and I just absolutely love this. I did have a clam of it but I do I think I used it all. So again this is oh he's up here now. Yeah you can sit in that window. Hello. Hi. Uh, no not up there. Not up there. Look come here. You can come over here. Oh, oh, okay. He's not super sturdy yet. Um, so we'll get him there though. Anyway, he's going to try again. He's coming back. <laughs> Let's try to finish this up. Spice r Rose Hip Hobery. Love it. Sorry, I know the camera's shaking. He's being very careful, but that's not the way to go, buddy. That's not the way to go. You can come over here. Can you get over here? <laughs> you can come over here. I don't know where you're gonna go that way, bud. You might just have to get back down. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think I only have one scent left after this. Love this scent dried rose potpourri it's so good i will definitely stick this in the tea light warmer this fall it's so pretty and the last scent and kind of what started the whole hey 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 <laughs> you gotta get down bud you're gonna fall first of all second of all you're gonna knock everything down okay that's fine if you want to sit there that's fine Okay, last scent, the one that started it all, I have Crawler Hunting from Rose Girls. And Candy had messaged me a while back and said that she had some Crawler Hunting that she wanted to gift to me um, because I talked about how much I love this scent and I used all of mine. This is Dirt, Rain, and Concrete and it's just... So good. It is one of the best dirt scents ever. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty with that rain. 
And you really do get that like rain on like hot concrete kind of scent. Oh, it's just perfect. It is just perfect. One of my favorites from Rose Girls, possibly my favorite from Rose Girls. It's amazing. I really need to get some more Rose Girls. I, I need to keep an eye out for the RTS after she's done with this current pre-order. Like I said, there were so many in that pre-order that I wanted to pick up. Uh, and I just couldn't narrow it down, so I just never checked out. That's just the way it goes with me, but I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. I'm sorry if you're shaking. He's moving around. Um, this is just beautiful. I'm probably going to hoard this for a while or melt like tiny pieces in the tea light warmer <laughs> or something. It's beautiful and it's strong and it is amazing. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I just, I love dirt blends and this is a top tier dirt blend. So good. So crawler hunting from Rose Girls. Absolutely love that scent. Again, so appreciative of candy for sending me this box. It means so much to me. Like I said, I teared up <laughs> quite a bit when I first opened it. It's just, it, it, I love the connections that we make in this waxy YouTube community. And I don't know, we all share this love of this thing, this weird, obscure hobby <laughs> that just, we love we love it and then we find each other through this and we find people who you know are like-minded and build these connections and it's just so crazy to me but like crazy beautiful like that's why it made me tear up because like how does this person who I've never met like she just listens to me she listens to what I say and then she just picked the most perfect sense to put in a box and send my way it means so much to me I know I'm rambling it just means so much to me and every I've, I've gotten a few um friend mail packages now at this point and every time it's just it's still just like so like mind-blowing to me and so overwhelming to me I don't know I'm sure you guys know what I mean if you're in this community it's 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 just something to be very grateful for so anyway thank you so much candy for sending me all of these beautiful scents and the amazing little Pacific Northwest touches that you added to the box I'm I love everything so much. Um, so yeah, thank you to Candy and thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you all later.